Summary of My Kinsman, Major Molyneux by Nathaniel Hawthorne The events of My Kinsman, Major Molyneux take place over the course of a single night. The protagonist, a young man named Robin who was raised in the countryside and is now 18 years old, comes by boat in Massachusetts Bay with the intention of beginning in the world with the support of his wealthy and famous cousin, Major Molyneux. Robin doesn't know that the colonies have turned against people who work for the crown and have already gotten rid of a few leaders. Robin thought that because he knew the major, the townsfolk would treat him with kindness and respect. Instead, they treated him with suspicion and didn't care about him at all. When Robin can't find a house that matches his idea of how rich his kinsman Molyneux is, he runs into an old man who yells at him and threatens him which makes the customers and workers of a nearby barber shop laugh. He then goes to a bar where he thinks all the sailors and tradesmen are just drunks. Here, Robin sees a man with horns talking to a group of people who aren't dressed well. Robin asks this host where he can find Molyneux, but he thinks Robin is a runaway servant named Hezekiah Mudge because Robin is wearing a grey robe, leather breeches, and a three-cornered hat, just like Mudge. When the host finds out that Robin doesn't have enough money for dinner, he kicks him out. Robin was surprised by how cold people were to him in Massachusetts, so he keeps wandering the streets and alleys of the town, hungry and confused. As he walks around, he hopes to run into Molyneux, but all he sees are groups of young people dressed in fancy European-style clothes. He looks at the faces of every older man he sees, hoping that one of them is a relative. But no one is a relative. Robin hears the old man who had earlier threatened him coming back, so he crosses the street and goes to a group of rundown houses on the bay. One of these has an open door, and a woman wearing red petticoats is standing in the hallway. Robin decides to try his luck again, so he asks the woman where Molyneux is. She says that this is Molyneux's house, that she is his housekeeper, and that he is sleeping inside after drinking a lot of liquor. Robin believes her and tells her that he will bring a word from Molyneux's friends in the country and then go to his room at the inn for the night. But the woman tries to drag Robin into the house, and she only gives up when the night watchman comes by. Robin is called a wanderer by the watchman, who tells him to go home or he will be put in the stocks. Robin starts walking around again and sees more groups of people hurrying along the road who are dressed strangely and seem to be speaking a foreign language. He asks a man in a bulky coat where he can find his cousin, but it turns out that the man is the horned man from the bar, who has now painted half of his face red and half of it black. The visitor tells Robin that if he wants to see Molyneux, he should wait an hour in the same place. Robin is feeling sad and lonely. He looks into the window of a nearby church and sees the moonlight shining down on a Bible. This makes him miss his father, a New England minister, and the rest of his loving family. At the end of his rope, Robin returns to the place where he met the man with the horns. Soon, a kind man comes out from the shade of the tower and asks Robin about his business in the city and how he is doing in general. The man says he knows the man with the horns and tells Robin about how crazy the town is getting. At some point, a parade led by the man with horns comes by. It is full of costumes, music, and fun. Also, all of the people Robin has met that night in town show up at the scene. Major Molyneux, who has been tarred and feathered, is in the middle of the parade. He is being pulled along on a cart. He looks at Robin with humiliated eyes, which makes Robin shake fiercely out of a mix of pity and fear. After the partygoers and their prisoner have left, Robin asks the kind man how to get back to the boat. He has decided that his attempts to make money in town have failed. But the man tells him that if he stays, he may still rise in the world without the help of your kinsman, Major Molyneux. About the author Nathaniel Hawthorne was born in Salem. His ancestors were part of the first Massachusetts Bay Colony. John Hawthorne, the so-called hanging judge who ran the Salem Witch Trials, was his great-great-grandfather. Hawthorne spent most of his childhood in Raymond, Maine. After finishing from Bowdoin College in 1821, he moved back to Salem, where he met future President Franklin Pierce and author Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Hawthorne began his work as a writer in Salem, where he was almost completely alone. 
He didn't see many people besides his two sisters because he was very shy. But he never stopped thinking and he filled papers with story ideas. Longfellow wrote a positive review of Hawthorne's collection of short stories, Twice Told Tales, which was the first step in Hawthorne's rise to become one of the best American writers. Hawthorne got married to Sophia Peabody in 1838. He worked in relative silence until The Scarlet Letter came out in 1850 and made him famous all over the world. In the same year, he met Herman Melville, who gave Hawthorne the book Moby Dick. During the next four years, he wrote The House of the Seven Gables, The Snow Image, The Blithesdale Romance, and Tanglewood Tales, as well as a history of his old friend Franklin Pierce's presidential campaign. Hawthorne spent his later years as a consul in Liverpool. He also spent a lot of time traveling through England, France, and Italy, which led to a lot of travel writing and gave him ideas for his last book, The Marble Fawn. Hawthorne died while on a trip to the White Mountains in 1864. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.